Now, it's still early, but already iPhone 7 rumors have been pouring out. So today we're going to kind of piece them together and see what some potential designs and features for the iPhone 7 might be. Now, let's start about talking about the design. This is one of the most disagreed about subjects of the iPhone 7, and in fact, it's likely that at this point in the year, Apple hasn't even finalized their design for the iPhone 7 at all. Now, there are two main design themes that have been expressed recently in rumors. Now, the first design prototype is really quite boring. Basically, it has the iPhone 6 but without the antenna lines going across the back, although still on the top edges. And they also have it a little bit thinner and with no camera bump. And that's about it. Now, to me, that seems unlikely. Although it, it might make sense for Apple not to change the design, but so far what we've seen in history is that Apple tends to do a design change if they're going to change the number on the phone. So. I doubt that the iPhone 7 will actually end up looking like an iPhone 6 but with a few minor tweaks, but we'll have to see what happens. There is one variation on this design actually which has a dual lens camera, which I'll talk about more later, that would still protrude. So the concept image that I was able to find for that is actually quite ugly, I think, but we'll see how Apple manages to do that. Now, this second design, the more interesting design, has the entire iPhone 7 being made out of glass from top to bottom, front to back, really. But to me, I find that a little bit iffy, because while it's certainly possible for an all-glass iPhone 7, I mean, just take a look at the iPhone 4 and 4S. That's mostly glass. So it is possible that Apple could release that, but from the point of view of someone who's worried about scratches and nicks, I am a little hesitant about an all-glass phone, because even if they could make the glass so that it wouldn't shatter using, like, I don't know, super amazing Gorilla Glass or Sapphire Glass, it still has a tendency to be a bit of a scratch magnet, and as someone who is very, very, very careful with his phone, so careful, in fact, that I never actually put it down on a hard surface. That is a true fact. I am a little hesitant about that. Now, one major thing that we've been hearing about for quite a few months, actually, at this point, is that the iPhone 7 will not have a headphone jack. Now, that's a, that's a concept that spans both of those two radically different designs that I talked about, but it's also something that's very controversial regardless of the design that Apple actually goes with. Personally, I only use Apple headphones with my phone. I know not a lot of people do, but I like the Apple headphones and I use those. So if Apple were to remove the headphone jack, then theoretically and hopefully whatever headphones they include would be able to work with the phone either via Bluetooth or via the lightning port. So that being said, as someone who only uses the headphones that Apple supplies with the iPhone, I wouldn't really notice a difference because Apple would obviously supply you with headphones that would work with your phone. So I don't find it as big a deal as others. Now, the problem comes in when you want to use an external anything really that plays sound with a headphone jack. Say you have speakers that have an audio cord, or you have an aux port that uses an audio jack in your car, or you have another pair of headphones that you like to use, that could be a problem for you. That problem is greatly diminished with the appearance of Bluetooth, so, so Bluetooth speakers like a Sonos or pretty much any of those Bluetooth speakers, you wouldn't notice a difference at all. And the same goes with Bluetooth headphones and even having Bluetooth in your car. Theoretically, if you live in a magical world where you're all up to date, so your car has Bluetooth, you have a Sonos, uh, you have Bluetooth headphones, or you just want to use the Apple ones, then you won't even notice that the headphone jack was gone in the first place. However, 
If you're one of the many people that has auxiliary audio devices that use an audio port, that could be a big problem for you. Although I like to think that if Apple is going to remove that, that there's going to be a smorgasbord of adapters that will help you. Some people are also saying that now that Apple has acquired Beats, they will include or sell separately uh, wireless Bluetooth earbuds. Personally, I think knowing Apple that they would be more likely to sell them separately for an absurd amount of money, like $70 probably, rather than include them with the phone. Now here's something interesting. Here's a supposed leaked photograph of the iPhone 7. Now I use a lot of air quotes because there's absolutely no way to verify that this is a leaked photograph of the iPhone 7. But you'll notice, in addition to having the dual lens camera, it also has a smart connector. Now that's interesting. The smart connector, which was first introduced on the iPad Pro, has already found its way into the, well, into the other iPad Pro. So it's possible that the smart connector could herald the introduction of the iPhone Pro. Ah. Now, if that is the case, then this image would also coincide with another rumor concerning the dual lens camera, which is that the dual lens camera option will be available only on the iPhone 7 Pro. It stands to reason, and this picture would seem to corroborate those details. That would mean that yes, Apple might very well be releasing three phones. iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, and iPhone 7 Pro. What about this iPhone 7 Pro? I mean, other than having a smart connector and a dual lens camera, is it possible that it could also have slightly different other aspects of it? Some people claim that it's possible that the iPhone 7 Pro will feature such commodities as a larger screen. Some people saying up to a 5.7 inch display while maintaining this smaller or even similar size frame to the iPhone 6S. Other people say it might be thinner, some say it might be thicker. There's one other important aspect to the iPhone 7 that I have kind of touched on a little bit earlier in this video, and that is, of course, the dual lens camera. Now, if you've kept up to date on your iPhone 7 rumors, you've heard about the dual lens camera. And there are a couple of different rumors regarding it. There are only a few mock-ups that are fairly credible in some ways that have a dual lens camera that is believable. The first one that we saw is this one, courtesy of computerbuild.de. Interestingly enough, in this mock-up, you'll notice that the flash and the microphone are right next to the camera. So, in this version, it would have the cameras laid out vertically. Now, the other mock-up, that is the one that we said earlier might be the iPhone 7 Pro, has this arrangement of the cameras. Interestingly enough, in this mock-up, or leaked picture, whatever you want to believe, the cameras are laid out horizontally. Personally, I would rather have them vertical to the phone, because that would mean they would be horizontal when you're taking a picture in landscape mode. The other major difference between these two is that in the leaked photograph, the camera is protruding, and that is also similar in uh, some of the other mock-ups that have this same sort of camera bump. But in the one from Computer Build, the camera lies flush and has a metallic ring around it. I'm not gonna try to pretend that I know which one of these is believable, but personally, I would rather have the camera be flush with the phone. I don't really like the camera bump that much. It's not that big a deal, but I feel like when you have a camera module that's that size, it would be definitely a little bit worse. One major advantage to having a dual lens system is that it is possible for the iPhone 7 with this system to have two to three times optical zoom. This would be done by having one of the lenses be able to focus closer and the other lens be a, a long distance or a zoom lens. The software would then be able to switch between them to give you a really wide range of focus. The other thing that it would do is because you have two cameras that have subtly different uh, viewpoints, much like your eyes, you would actually be able to do depth mapping. So the cameras measuring the distance between the two viewpoints would be able to tell 
how far things are away. So you could make a 3D scan of a room. Or it's also possible that it could take exact measurements of things right from the camera. Selfie time! <laughs> One other thing that Apple is rumored to be implementing is some sort of screen improvement. A lot of people have been pointing to AMOLED displays, which are used in a lot of Android phones. Though it's not clear whether that would be implemented this year or in some soon-ish iPhone release down the line. But one thing's for certain, we are going to see some sort of display improvements, especially with the recent release of the 9.7 inch iPad Pro and the really rather nice display that it came with. One major feature that people are pointing to is True Tone. So basically the iPhone 7 would be able to match the colors on the screen and make them more real depending on your ambient light surroundings. One other rumor that is more based on speculation than on actual like facts and analysts is wireless charging. A lot of people say that it's now time for Apple to start getting on the bandwagon and finally implement some form of wireless charging. Although it's not clear in what way they would do that. What I'm personally hoping for is real wireless charging. Basically, you plug in a thing into an outlet and within a certain distance your iPhone will charge. Though, personally, I think that's something for a little further down the road. I don't know if Apple has that technology yet. The other option is the wireless charging that already exists. So you have a pad and you put your phone on it. And it... Were you in the shop that whole time? Rosie, what are you doing? Get over there. And it charges your phone. Thanks guys for watching this video. Now obviously I didn't cover every single iPhone 7 rumor. There's stuff ranging from the craziness of some weird alien technology to something as mundane as having an edge-to-edge -edge borderless screen. So there's a plethora of rumors so please don't give me hate in the comments for not talking about everything because that's just not possible. As usual, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Luke Miani, and don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more videos, and I am going to see you guys next week.